Good morning to each of you. I wanted to say thank you first and foremost for taking time out of your schedule today to pause here for just a few moments and hear what I have to say. This morning I have chose to come here into the archive room at Shiloh Pentecostal Holiness Church. It is just simply one of our rooms that we have designated to our history because based upon those that have come before us, we are able today to do ministry. There are so many great men and women. I would never begin to name names because surely as I did, I would forget someone. There have been so many great pastors that have come and have served this congregation before me. Uh, this past January, I made 13 years that I've been privileged to serve this congregation and to be a part of this shallow family. Yesterday, we were able to retrieve something out of storage, and I'm standing behind this pulpit, this podium today, that served this church for many, many years. It goes back into our archives of who we are. And as we were moving it in this room yesterday, and my wife was uh, cleaning it to preserve it for this time and this space, I just began to think this morning about all the seeds that have been sown around this podium. And today, we the people here at Shiloh, uh, this is our season. And this is what men and women that have stood behind this sacred podium and have shared the good news of Jesus Christ, it is what they saw in their spirit man for the future. And today, I and those that have surrounded me here at Shiloh, we're living right now in what they envision. But today, each of us that call Shiloh our home, we are envisioning a future if the Lord tarries for those that will follow us. So today, we have preserved this memorial to look back on and to realize all the greatness that has come before us. We celebrate every message that has been preached, every song that may have been sung behind this pulpit. We celebrate every soul that was brought to an altar because of what was spoken at this place. But that is all in our past. What we must focus on today is the present. And as Matthew says to us so many times in his Friday videos, that Today is truly a present because it is a gift from God. So I want to borrow that from him this morning as we echo on the past, but we embrace our present in knowing that this is our time. Now to each of you that may not be part of this Shiloh family as well, I want to speak to you during this video. And I want to say to you today that you have been given a present and it is called this day. We are living not in the past, and we have not yet obtained our future. But this is the day that the Lord hath made, and the Word declares that each of us is to rejoice and be glad in it. So can I just encourage you today that whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, uh, whatever adversities may be taking place in your life this morning, can I just encourage you to embrace this day and to rejoice in it and be glad in it? to put a smile on your face and share the good news of Jesus Christ with someone today that may need to hear that good news. And just maybe someone this morning has tuned in for just a moment and maybe you're not feeling that excitement today. Can I just remind you that God is for you this morning and He loves you today and wherever you find yourself this morning, if you will look around, you will find God there. And He is there because He wants to meet and supply your need, whatever that need is. Maybe your life is in emotional shambles this morning. Maybe you find yourself in addiction today. Maybe something has taken power and control of your life. Could it be hatred? Could it be a, a foreign substance? Could it be alcohol? Could it be drugs? Uh, could it be any number of things today? But can I say to you right where you're at today, God is there. And God is beckoning you this morning to call upon His name. And if you'll do so, He'll meet you this morning at that place of need. Yes, the Word declares He's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He's right there today. Call on Him. 
Those of us that are remembering the past this morning, let us embrace the present this morning. Let us embrace this day that God has given us and let us go out and make this a great day because this is the day that the Lord has given us and you and I, my friend, are to rejoice and be glad in it. If you don't have a place to rejoice, if you don't have a place to celebrate, if you don't have a place to look back and remember and cast a vision for the future, could I just employ you to come down Altry Mill Road? The address is 2271 Altry Mill Road, Godwin, North Carolina. We're out in the Clement community. Shiloh Pentecostal Holiness Church. What I'm telling you is you're going to find some people there that are just like you. They've had difficulties this week. They have struggled. They have fought the enemy. They have battled just as this preacher has as well. But this morning we choose to arise and celebrate the gift of this day and rejoice and be glad in it. If you don't have a place to do that, we would encourage you to come join us here. May God richly bless you. Embrace what God has given you today. Call on Him this morning if you need Him. And rejoice in the fact that He is there. May God bless each of you till we see you again. Thank you for taking time out of your day to hear what the Spirit is saying to our hearts this morning. God bless you all. Pastor Eddie.